Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, we are going to do a good old palette ranking. I have not done this in a few months and I have 11 palettes that I've really tested out and I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on any makeup so if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and uh, join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. Okay, it is time to do some ranking. I love doing these videos and I know you guys love these videos. They're some of my most popular ones on my channel and I have been really testing out these products, giving it a try, doing multiple looks, testing out the shades. I usually test them a lot for like work, you know, cause I wear makeup to work every day. That's how I really get to thoroughly play with each of the palettes and I have done uh, like first impressions and all of these I think or at least a get ready with me but I think it's helpful to like come back and really let you guys know my like final thoughts on things and really test them out so you can really know did they like end up working out for me did all the shades work out did I like gravitate to the palette did I actually use it you know things like that I think that's like the most helpful so I'm going to just rank it from like the bottom to the top like least favorite to very favorite now none of these have quality issues I think most of it is based on just color story versatility and how much I actually gravitated towards using it now please don't take it personal if I like rank something really low that you love or rank something really high that you hate this is just based on my personal preferences when it comes to makeup we can all have different preferences that's the beauty about makeup it's so diverse and there's so many options for all of us so I am going to get into that but before we do get into this ranking if you're curious about this eye look which I think is so beautiful I did a whole testing new makeup to me video and put this look together I actually have the Glaminatrix sugar and spice palette on and the gourmand girl secret girl palette now this video that I'm doing right now will probably come up before this video of doing this look but definitely check out for that I'm just really happy with how my look came out it's so pretty and I feel like my skin's looking flawless too but anyways let's get into this ranking so at the bottom of the ranking it's a very nudie palette and I'm a color lover and nudie palettes are always going to end up closer to the bottom of a ranking list because most of the other palettes are usually more colorful because that's what I tend to buy but I do find that neutrals have a place in my collection and I wear a lot of nudie shades to work and sometimes I just want to tone down more chill look it's really easy to throw on a nudie look versus a colorful look when you don't have that much time but this is the glam light Hershey's cookies and cream palette I think it's actually really cute it's very cool tone which is what I prefer when it comes to nudes it has depth it has lighter shades that you can work as inner corner highlights some mid tones there's a little bit of blue in here some gray you can go very smoky so I like it for that reason but it's not necessarily very unique to my collection I do have a lot of nudie palettes like this and I do feel like glam light has been coming out with a lot of palettes with this kind of color story like they're kind of duping themselves over and over but the formula is beautiful it's just a nudie palette and that's where it ends up landing at the bottom because I love color but it's still really really good and I definitely like using it I've enjoyed the looks I've created with that and then the next palette which there's nothing wrong with this palette. It's absolutely beautiful as well. It's just a little bit more limited, more curated color story, and not my go-to that I would normally like gravitate towards, but I still really like it. It is the Unearthly Cosmetics Spaced Out Palette. It's so cute and fun with the little pops, the pastels, the shimmers. It has everything you need to create completed looks. And I mean, overall, it's pretty versatile for being a smaller palette. I just reach for other things over this one, but I still really think it's gorgeous. It was from the Unearthly uh, Mystery Box for the summer, which I actually think they just went on sale. Hopefully, they're still in stock, but I think they're like 50% off. I mean, it's definitely worth picking up because the products are so good in it. And I realized that this looks just like another palette. I was trying to figure it out. And I finally figured it out. It looks so similar to the Natasha Denona mini pastel palette. I'll put a picture of it up here. Do you see that? It's crazy, right? Like they line up in a lot of ways. I mean, this has more shades, but I can't believe how similar it looks to that. But I was just also surprised by that. 
because I knew this looked like something, but it's really beautiful. It just, the other palettes are a little bit more versatile and more my like speed. And then going on to this from Nomad Cosmetics, this is the Ghost Town USA palette. Beautiful little Halloween release that they did. It is a gorgeous, more muted color story. It's still color, but on the muted scale with these like cool tone nudie shades. Overall, the palette leans quite cool tone. There's a little bit of warmth, but I think it's beautiful. And I really feel like Nomad has stepped up their matte formula. They're definitely more pigmented and they just have more of a like punch on the eyes. And then there's these really beautiful sparkly metallics in here. I think it might be like a new formula from them, but they're really, really sparkly and beautiful. Just overall, this leans more on the muted side. Um, and it's not like super bright. So like, this is great if I'm in that muted nude, but normally I'm gonna gravitate to intense color. I mean, I have more muted shades on today, but it's still really beautiful, high quality. Definitely one of those like nudie palettes with a twist. And I love that it leans cool tone. I think it matches the theme, the packaging. So it is really beautiful, I'm telling you guys. It's still good. Like I'm so raving about these palettes, it's just, you know, I have to rank them. It's a ranking video. <laughs> and then the next palette, which is from Unearthly Cosmetics, it's the Get Groovy palette. This was in their large summer mystery box. And it's such a fun curated rainbow palette. And I think this is going to be my go-to rainbow palette now because all of the rainbow palettes I have in my collection are really big. And I love that this is a condensed down version. You have all the colors you need for the rainbow, the yellow, you got blue, the green, the orange, the ready shade purple beautiful shimmers this gives a good amount of depth honestly I wish this purple was a little deeper so you had two deepening shades and then you have just beautiful metallics to pair with it and some of them are shifty and gorgeous the only reason why like I didn't rank this higher is because I have a lot of this already in my collection like it is repetitive to what I already have since I'm such a color lover so it's not necessarily anything special but I still enjoy it and I love that it's a more condensed down rainbow palette and I do feel like this is going to become my go-to and it's what number four six in the ranking it's like right in the middle fun little color story. And then the next palette is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, the grunge palette. I think this is so cute. It's a little grungy, but a little 90s. There's still some color to it. I don't think this is your typical grunge color story. It gives me nostalgia, 90 vibes. I'm, I'm really feeling it. And the mattes are amazing, of course, from Blend Bunny. And that's what I really love about their formula the most is their mattes. Now, I feel like the shimmers are pretty, they're sparkly, but they're nothing special. And I'm like really into the dual chromes, multi chromes, super intense, flaky, shifty shades. So I'm not that excited about the metallics. They're still really pretty and smooth. I'm just really feeling the mattes. Like that's the bee's knee right here. Does anyone say that anymore? You got lighter shades, the mid-tones, depth. I mean, Blend Bunny always thinks about every shade you could need to do completed looks. So. This is really good and I love that there's so much options. You got cool tones, warm tones. You can go in so many different color directions. So I really like the versatility of this palette as well. Then the next palette is from Adept Cosmetics. It's such a beautiful fall palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has the most beautiful, intense, sparkly, shifty shimmers in here. And that's what I love most about Adept is their shimmer formula. Now the mattes are good, but they're not amazing. It's really the shimmers and metallics that stand out from this brand. And the color story is gorgeous. Now I just have a few things that make it not higher up, like at the top, top of a ranking. It just, I wish that these two shades weren't here maybe they were switched out i don't feel like you need two light shades like this maybe something a little deeper thrown in like a deeper green would have been nice and then it has these really shifty like maroony burgundy shades and i feel like they're just all too a little similar like maybe this one's a little bit more orangey red 
more of a darker maroon and more of like a rosy or pinker burgundy but they all have the same kind of shift so i don't feel like all three were necessary i wish that they actually had one more truer olive green metallic to like pair with the greens that would have been really pretty because these do have green shifts but they definitely are more strong on the burgundy or orangey scope than on the green side but i mean it's still beautiful that's just you know my personal preference what i'd prefer but this shade right here is really pretty because it has like all these shimmers in it it's like a hollow shade it's gorgeous but yeah that's my thoughts on this it's you know still high up there i still really love it it's really beautiful going to uh number four on the ranking and it is the gourmand girls nightshade palette this was a collab with doodles by the bunny this is so pretty and the formula is really nice and they just make such beautiful palettes together they're a match made in heaven like they're so good at collabing with one another and creating such beautiful color stories packaging it has these fun bright pops and beautiful shifty metallics different formulas like two smoother ones more sparkly ones really flaky molten metal ones you have depth you have a matte black this deeper um, purple right here these fun brighter mattes you have inner corner highlights and i feel like these two are a little similar but it's overall really beautiful high quality and just a fun inspiring interesting color story to me i really gravitate towards this one a lot because i love me my purples i love me my greens so it's a really really nice one. Oh my gosh i cracked that black mat in there because i'm so clumsy now going on to number three in the ranking which to me is one of the prettiest fall palettes that have come out this year it is the it smell cosmetics pixie grove palette i don't know why i struggled to say it spell but this is so pretty and the formula is excellent in here you have all these grungy mattes these beautiful mid-tones and what i think makes this palette so interesting is the pop of mint and you don't normally see that in a fall palette that's a little bit more grungy so it adds interest and something different it makes fun little pops this is a beautiful pigmented pastel like everything is gorgeous then you have these olive shades some of these like metallics are just so shifty this one has a green shift this has a pink shift so you have two inner corner highlight options or you know brightening the lid or brow bone they're just really pretty like they nailed it with this color story i like just the simple packaging and that mint is everything that's why this is number three on the ranking it's so beautiful now they did send this to me but i will always give you guys my honest truth i will never like tell you i like a palette if i don't like it if i love it i mean it and i don't also mind telling y'all if i don't like something i'm just all about transparency here on this channel now going on to number two in the ranking this is the delicious delights palette from cosmic brushes this is a beautiful pastel-y fun color story that has some depth in here this beautiful shifty metallic that's next level then you have this gorgeous pigmented matte white i love a matte white in a palette to use as like an inner corner highlight brow bone highlight or just if you want to lighten up some shades and the pastels and we have a minty matte you guys realize i'm a sucker for a minty matte it gets me every time you have some cool tones warm tones in here i just think it's a beautiful elevated pastel palette and i really love it this even ended up in if i could only keep 10 palettes in my collection video because i love it that much i said that this would be my go-to pastel palette and i still feel that way now the new blend bunny pastel one might give this a run for its money but it's so good high quality and i feel like this is more affordable compared to the quality of the shadow i know affordability is relative but i feel like this is definitely more of a 50 dollars or more palette but they sell it for 20 dollars. of course if you don't live in the uk it's international shipping so you know taxes and all that can add up but i just still feel like you're getting high quality for a like smaller price that's just you know my personal opinion about this they're so good 
And I can't wait to get the Gothic palette in the mail. I did order that one. I love that it's a more smaller curated color story. And now we're getting to a number one in the ranking. This palette is absolutely stunning. And I really, really love it for the shimmers that are in here. And I've just fallen in love with this brand. This is from NC Rain Cosmetics. This is the Strawberry Moon palette. And this has some of the most beautiful shimmers that are sparkly. There's different formulas. Some have just beautiful, intense shifts. There are some that are even creamier. Like these two are very creamy. These like ones up here are a little bit more flaky. These ones are a little smooth. So I love the different textures in here, the different shifts. And then it's paired with these beautiful mattes. You have the depth you need. They were pigmented and easy to work with. I'm really liking the matte formula from them as well. But they're just all so pretty and foiled. And some just have really interesting shifts. Like look at that. I just had to show you guys some of the prettiest shimmers have come from nc rain i just been loving on this brand i'm like smitten by them because they make those intense shifty kind of metallics that i love and i cannot get over it it is so good and pretty and i also love their aesthetic their packaging the whole like ethereal vibe really appeals to me and i'm just really really loving this brand like i mean it and i'm not getting pr from them this is my honest truth i'm not hyping them up just because they send me things they don't i wish they did maybe one day i will make it to the pr list now i know this is a pricier brand their palettes are more on the expensive side and it's because they include these intense shifty metallics which are more expensive to formulate now i do hope that maybe they'll come out with smaller more curated palettes that maybe have more mattes and then a few special shimmers so more people can try their products because i know the price range deters a lot of people and if they just got a chance to try it maybe they would be more open to spending the higher price tag once they experience the formula so hopefully they have that in the works that's just like a thought of mine but overall still really loving the brand and that is why it is number one on the ranking it's gorgeous so that was all of the palettes all of my ranking from least favorite to most favorite overall these palettes are all good highly recommend all of them and i've enjoyed playing with them so much they're all really really beautiful but now you guys will have to let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below are you surprised by my ranking would you have put these in different places or like what palettes are you loving on or even hating on i would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content you like a lot on indie makeup and all that good stuff then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will have all of these palette linked all of the videos that i've done on these palettes if you want to see them in action see some looks and swatches and i will have my makeup linked as well what is on my face and everything the video for this should be coming up very soon so make sure you check out for that i will also have my contact and my social media platforms linked i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle i'm breezy underscore beauty so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here being amazing. I just appreciate you guys all so much. And I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world. And just sending you guys so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys. Bye.